Earth Day is celebrated annually on April 22nd as an opportunity for individuals and corporations to demonstrate support for environmental protection. The theme for 2023 was Invest in Our Planet, and employees and businesses across Rakuten invested much time and effort to show their commitment to a greener planet. In the Americas region, the social responsibility program Rakuten Cares helped organize a range of activities through mid-April and into May, with the aim of encouraging employees to contribute to environmental sustainability in their communities. These range from tree planting events in New York City, Salt Lake City and Toronto, in partnership with the One Tree Planted charity, to a beach cleanup in Chicago, park restoration in San Mateo, and city cleanup in the heart of San Francisco. In total, over 200 employees participated. It's uh, really nice to like give it back to the nature and uh, cherry on top is you get to work with your awesome colleagues and team and uh, you know just really work it out in being in nature yeah well what i love about doing events like these is that we're taking the the values that we have at rakuten americas and rakuten throughout we're spreading them to our communities and we're touching the communities in different ways this is our live action demonstration of cleaning up the city that we support, that we have employees who live in, that we do business in, really actively getting out here and participating and keeping the city clean. I think my biggest hope is that we do more of this and that people continue to get so super excited about it and come out to events like this more often, bring their friends, bring their families and really feel that we're connecting with our community, we're making a difference. Alongside this, Throughout the week of April 17th, all donations made to selected environmental charities via the Rack 10 Cares community page were matched by Rack 10, raising more than 12,000 US dollars, which was distributed to over 40 US based and international charities. Over in the EMEA region, a special regional ASCAI was held focused on the issue of biodiversity or the Earth's natural environment, with a panel discussion featuring internal and external speakers. What has been a really promising uh, development is that the government, at the end of last year, after some delays, finally signed uh, the post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework, uh, which now uh, binds all of the governments which are party to this convention to take a, a significant action to stop uh, biodiversity loss and reverse it. Specifically, Target 15 talks about the disclosure and, and transparency and openness and accountability that the businesses can do uh, in, in, in showing what is their specific input of their operations is on biodiversity and, uh, and monitoring that and making sure that it is uh, essentially sustainable and uh, is is reducing in time. My first advice, if you're interested in uh, further addressing the biodiversity crisis, would be to keep on studying. Uh, there are more and more resources on the subject. Uh, and my second advice would be to think about how your business relates to biodiversity. Uh, look at your operations, at your supply chains. Uh, think about what you could do and how you could engage with your stakeholders. The session also highlighted insightful books on biodiversity available from Rakuten Kobo, as well as movies on the subject from Rakuten TV. Rakuten TV also hosted a special session with two external panelists focused on the sustainability of film production and video streaming. So what we see companies doing is really becoming a steward of the digital value chain beyond the operational boundaries of Rakuten. You do have relationships with device manufacturers, so understanding kind of what, what, they, what they're doing to kind of reduce um, emissions of their products and how, you know, how technically streaming companies can help reduce the emissions. So, you know, we know about things like high dynamic range and having impacts on the power consumption of end user devices. Meanwhile, Rakuten Symphony held a five-day awareness raising campaign for Earth Week on its internal Viber group, through which various employees shared their tips for contributing to a greener future, such as reducing plastic consumption, eating more plant-based meals, and reducing energy consumption. 
Finally, in Taiwan, the Rak-10 monkeys marked Earth Day at their home stadium in Taoyuan through various activities, including an auction of player and cheerleader gear to raise money for sustainable causes, a booth selling sustainable products, and introduction of recyclable cups and utensils at its stadium food stores.